I'm Brenda Miller Holmes and I'm the director of the Civil Rights History Mural Project. So my job is essentially to um, coordinate everything about the project. So because this is not my story to tell, I wanted to think of a way that I could kind of gather Durham to tell its own story. I view the mural as a, a reminder, really, of where we came from, where the city came from. We had rain for about 45% of the days that we were out here painting at some point during the day, so that actually really impacted our schedule. Um, this year coming back, it's been completely the opposite. We focused on a longer history, so some of the people here go back into the 30s and the 40s through people who were active in the movement all the way up into the 70s. I've been working as a muralist in this capacity for about 15 years, so um, the way that I work is really to engage groups of people to tell their own stories. I've met a lot of wonderful people, and now I feel part of the community. I think that particularly in this country, getting together intergenerationally is essential to healing and understanding. Um, it's really my favorite way to work. I think for some people the perspective is that they can't believe that this is something going downtown based on their life experience in Durham. You know, I saw appreciation for other places compared to my own home, and learning this history really got me, gave me a chance to understand why it's such a great city. We're doing it for everybody to just color out, hey, take a look, this is what this wonderful movement is all about, and that is freedom. I would like to see this be a gathering place for conversations. I'd like to see, you know, I hope that it would be a jumping off place for community conversations. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm humbled by it and I love it. I hope that the mural sends a message that downtown is and will always be a place for everybody.